We often think of mothers as the embodiment of love and care, but what happens when narcissism takes over? Today, we're diving into the complex world of the narcissistic wife and mother, unraveling the reasons why a female narcissist might not truly love her children. It's a tough topic, but understanding it can be the key to healing and building awareness. By the end of this video, you'll gain insight into the intricate dynamics that play out in such families. Ready to venture into this challenging terrain? Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. 1. Prioritising self-image Everyone wants to look good, right? But what happens when pursuing the perfect image becomes the primary focus, even at the expense of familial love? Consider a scenario where a mother is obsessed with her own reflection, her own perceived perfection and her desire to be admired. What about the kids? Well, they're usually in the background, desperate to capture even a sliver of her attention. It's as if the spotlight is always on her, leaving her children in the shadows. 2. Emotional immaturity For a female narcissist, emotions can be a jumbled mess. Have you ever met someone who treats a minor hiccup as if it were the end of the world? Emotional maturity allows us to deal with life's ups and downs, but if someone is emotionally immature, they might struggle to cope with even the smallest inconvenience. This emotional turmoil can make it extremely difficult for a female narcissist to form a genuine emotional connection with her children. When the storms of her emotions are always front and centre, it's hard to tune into the needs and feelings of her kids. 3. Competitive nature Life isn't a competition to be won right? Well, try telling that to a narcissist. A narcissistic wife will always strive to be the best, the most successful, and the most impressive, or at least have it look that way. But here's the catch. The kids are also unknowingly participating in this race. Their accomplishments and success are simply the icing on the cake for her. But love is about encouraging one another and celebrating victories, big and small together, not using achievements as a way to gain status. It can also be difficult for a competitive mom to genuinely celebrate her children's accomplishments without feeling jealousy or inadequacy. Yeah, that's right, they even compete against their own children. 4. Fear of vulnerability Being vulnerable is like tearing down the glossy cover and revealing the raw, unfiltered truth, which is extremely difficult for someone who thrives on the image of perfection. In a family dynamic, especially for a mother, Vulnerability is essential for fostering trust and authentic connections, but to a female narcissist, being vulnerable essentially means admitting that they are not invincible, and so it is something that they very rarely do. As a result, it's very hard for the mother and child to nurture a loving relationship. The child never has a chance to see a side of their mother that isn't made of steel, and it is at this point that love can become lost in the maze of fear. 5. Perfectionism this is a trait that I think we've all encountered at some point in our lives. Perfectionism. That itch to make everything absolutely perfect. But imagine having that drive turned all the way up. About everything. All the time. That is how a female narcissist struggling with perfectionism feels. Have you ever been in a relationship with someone who can't stand anything less than perfect? Whether it's their appearance, accomplishments, or even their children? It's as if they have a mental scorecard. And you fail if you don't tick every box. But let's be honest, life isn't about scoring points, especially regarding your children. Now think about the child, desperately seeking validation and love, but your wife's criteria for love is unattainable perfection. How does that make the child feel? It's extremely damaging for the bond between mother and child. The child may feel unloved, and so the mother begins to feel as though they are failing, and the relationship spirals. 6. Emotional neglect in childhood. Consider a young girl or boy growing up in a household where emotions were treated as if they were forbidden secrets. Their cries for help were met with silence and their attempts to connect were ignored. Unfortunately, this was the childhood reality for some female narcissists. When your emotional needs are ignored, it can be difficult to recognize, let alone meet your children's needs. It's like trying to build a house on a shaky foundation. It'll fall down eventually. If a mother never experienced being nurtured, held, or reassured as a child, how can she give something she never had? Love may feel like a foreign language, which she never learned to speak fluently. 7. Lack of empathy Empathy is important in relationships, especially when it comes to parenting. 
Consider a mother who struggles with empathy. She'll have great difficulty comprehending her child's emotions. Empathy means being emotionally present for another person. A narcissistic mother frequently prioritizes her own needs over those of a child. As a result, she may not react to a child's emotions. Can you see how this could leave the child feeling emotionally alone or neglected and how this might affect the relationship? 8. Power Dynamics Being in control is like having a warm security blanket for some people. But it's not just a preference for a narcissist, they need it to survive. Consider being a child in a household where your mother is the captain, and she isn't the one to share the wheel. You are constantly being told to sit still and keep quiet. This oppression can lead to the child acting out and create a seriously frosty atmosphere. Love should allow freedom of expression, not stifle it. But for a narcissist, giving up any control is like asking a cat to bark. It's not in their nature. 9. Emotional Manipulation Emotional manipulation is a powerful tool in the realm of narcissism. A narcissistic mother may use this tactic to control and dominate her child for her own agenda and self-interest. This manipulation becomes a means for the narcissistic mother to satisfy her ego and her goals, often at the expense of the child. The child's feelings and emotions are deemed unimportant compared to the mother's ambitions. This leads to a mother never loving the child, but only considering it as a tool to fulfill her ambitions. 10. Lack of awareness. Consider a woman who has narcissistic tendencies, but is unaware of the extent of her behavior. In most cases, narcissists are completely unaware of their shortcomings and struggle to comprehend the consequences of their actions on their children. They may be unaware of their actions' emotional toll, severely limiting their ability to provide genuine love and care. This lack of self-awareness can be caused by a deep-seated denial of their flaws, a desire to maintain a positive self-image, or an unwillingness to confront uncomfortable truths about themselves. As a result, they may overlook or minimize their children's emotional needs and well-being. The cycle continues because the narcissistic mother's lack of self-awareness contributes to the emotional distance between her and her children. 11. Deep-seated insecurity. Picture a confident, charismatic exterior. That's often what you see with narcissistic individuals, but what lies beneath the surface? It's insecurity, a feeling that you're not good enough despite your outward bravado. Isn't it strange? These insecurities can be severe, gnawing at their sense of self. Consider being the child of such a person. Despite her apparent confidence, your mother is deeply insecure. Your accomplishments, happiness or success might make her feel threatened. Can you imagine how difficult it is for her to show genuine love and support? It's like trying to fill a leaky bucket with love. The love just won't stay because her insecurities keep poking holes in it. Everyone involved in this cycle is emotionally drained. The child is deprived of the love and support they deserve, while the mother is trapped in her insecurity, unable to break free. With such revealing reasons behind a narcissistic wife's indifference, it's crucial to protect oneself. Discover toxic tactics the female covert narcissist employs, or recognize the signs you're enduring narcissistic abuse from your wife. Thanks for joining us. Drop a like, share your thoughts, and hit subscribe for more enlightening content.